Good afternoon again. I wanted to show another deck since there's a pile over there. Uh, it looks like 30. I don't know. It's more than I can do in one day. Even though I'm trying to knock them out. They've all been shown before, so it's not a big deal, I guess. But this is called the Lowbrow Tarot. And I guess the lead artist would have been Anya Khan and Russell Moon. I believe I've got two or three of her decks. I believe a she. This is a Schiffer, so it's the mini, like a smaller version. It's just 22, the 22 major arcana cards. Some sort of tribute or something they did for tarot. So that's what the box looks like. Enough with the box. Let's put the first card there, the back of it anyway. And on the back you kind of see four words. Terra, Earth, Aqua, Water, I'm guessing. That's what these are hinting at. The four suits. Ignis, or like Ignite, Fire, Aura. Which can be several things, but I guess sky, we'll go with water, because that's what the symbols are here. Earth, water, fire, air. But that's the first card, the fool card. Oops. And I think I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, wow. This is a bit of a workout to position. And I'm trying to give it some kind of, I don't know, I guess it's a fancy, fancy smancy talk to say depth. But I'm trying to give it a way to make the card pop out. And since I'm just using the sun, which I think just went away, we got two extra cards. There's, you know, they always shiffer cards. So that's the uh, Fool. I think each card's done by different artists, perhaps. Maybe. Hard to say. I'll set these up off to the side so that I can prepare the at a glance view if I can do this without them. Pays to be ready ahead of time, huh? Well, I wasn't sorry and you're staring at nothing. But there's the next card, the magician. Is there a Roman numeral on there? Yes, I see it. It's at the top, kind of tough to see. Are these already black on the, along the edge? I don't think they are, but I think they're that, they're very glossy, if that shows up. And um, they look like they had the black center, but the edge isn't really colored black. I guess you could use this if you only need, you know, the majors. I don't see how hard it would have been to throw some, like, Marseille type or pit type cards in there to make it a complete deck. But that's just me. <laughs> wow, that green really jumped off once it's over there on the monitor. Wow. I kind of didn't like that card before. Hmm. It's the Empress, I think. We just looked at the High Priestess. Sorry. Okay, this is kind of working if I would line them up, right? My left hand can do lots of things, including draw and tennis, but for some reason, positioning stuff, <laughs> uh, it's getting better. And what what's that one? The Emperor? I guess that's the Emperor. Here comes the Hierophant with a three on his head. Hmm. Well, don't sound like I'll be going for another run. That sounds like about 40 mile an hour wind. Wow. Yesterday it's like 80 and now it's just plummeting again. Back, 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 back to freezing. We go. 
There's the lover. Wow, that purple's nice. Popped right off of there. Hmm. Can't say I would be a fan. Oh, halfway through, I said, remember to show the book. It does come with a book. It's not very thick or very big or all that informative. 50 some pages. But as you can see, it does have the card doubled in there twice for some reason. A big version, a little version, meaning, reverse, and then a website to go to. I'm guessing each of those websites is the different artists. Let's see, can I put that in the picture and have it stay there? I think so. So that was the lovers. Look like birds again. Seems to be a theme for today. There's the chariot. So we got two, four, six, and I think that's going to work. Here comes the strength card that we were just looks, looking at in the book. Hmm. Oh, that's not a bad hermit card, actually. Not quite, you know. Definitely not. I guess it's a painting. Well, I think somewhere it said collage, some of the artists. Hmm. Still, for a photograph, if that's what it's based on, it's kind of a nice hermit. Maybe the wrong meaning in there. But hey, now that, when I keep just quickly glance at it, I think the Spanish artist Goya for some reason. Maybe the bull, maybe the owls, maybe the way it's done. When it's darker, it's more Goya. Right now, it's not so much. But that's what I thought. Here's Justice. And this next one's going to be hard to see. I can't say much about that one. <laughs> the Hangman. Which is uh, really a hanged woman. If we turn it sideways, I think she's a bit more visible. You always want to turn it upside down anyway, don't you? <laughs> I do. Here's the death card. Oh, howdy. Yep, a regular horse won't do it. You gotta get yourself a horse like that. Okay, what is this? Temperance? Well, she is pouring something. Mm -hmm. Here comes the devil card. I mean, I guess this would have made a. I think it said 2012. Would have. I think, let me look. This would have made a little splash in 2012, right? Nah. I'm just so late to all this new stuff that I don't, can't have an informed opinion. Because I didn't know any of it existed till last year. In a way, I'm thankful for that. And in a way, I'm not thankful for that. Make up your mind. I can't. That's the tower. Kind of a dragon, right? Kind of, kind of. Here comes star. Ooh. Look away if you're offended. Here comes the moon. Can't be that offended, right? Here comes the moon. Oh, whoa, whoa. Look at the sun. Catch that sucker. Wow, that's almost 3D-ish. What is 3D? It's a card. You know what I mean. Kind of like you put on your 3D glasses. Here comes the sun again with the face and the babyish things. They didn't go out on a limb on that one, did they? I do like that moon. I do not like the next one. I'm guessing an artist's self-portrait, possibly. <laughs> oh, that 
Last Judgment. Here comes the world. That's not bad. A bit. Automaton. Is that the right word? Automaton. Automaton. Move this out of the way because now at this moment we're going to say Mark. Say 10. 10.30 that I'll be showing it in the at a glance way of doing it which is coming up right now so that's 10.44 dude no not yet you gotta zoom out oh yeah and get the fool in there get that fool in there there he be oh, where's my finger You get to see the whole process here. Line it up. Mm. Okay. That looks pretty good. We got the three rows of seven, the major arcana. I do it that way instead of the way I'd prefer to do it, which is an oval, but oval will not fit into that space under the camera. So that was a quick, hopefully, show of the lowbrow tarot. With that, I will say peace.